All right, guys, so I have another setup with me and I also have a new model, my son, Zeftin. Um, unfortunately, my wife had to run because she had an appointment, uh, but I still wanted to show you another setup, something that I use all the time um, because I really like uh, to use a one camera setup. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, and it also gives me a certain type of look and polish I like. Um, not to say that you can't add other lights, but I want to show you first the setup. So I have my same umbrella again. Uh, it's a little bit low, lower and it's closer to the subject. And, and essentially what I want to do is I want to create this sort of like, like really hard uh, cascading shadow on one side of his face, on Zeftin's face. And on the other side, he's going to be lit up. It, it's just kind of a little bit more dramatic, but it also has a little bit more uh, flavor to it as well. So yeah, so let's jump into it and I'm gonna check out my settings and see what's, uh, what's working for me. I am still using the 85 mil. All right, Zeft, you ready? Let's have a seat. All right, so um, I am going to first get Zeftin to sit up nice and straight for me. All right, not too much, relax yourself, bro. There you go. Look at me, I'm gonna turn on my camera, I'm gonna check out what we have here. Check out my first shot here. Okay, so we're at f2.8, um, one over 800 in shutter speed, and then ISO 100, uh, with a power of one over four, which I don't really need one over four power, so I'm going to bring it down to, I would say, one over 16, and I am going to, go with maybe f4 let's see what we got here Ooh, you are looking very very dignified young man can you do me a favor sir can you look up to the light perfect just a nice smile beautiful so as you can see on the screen this light is really really flattering it does feel because it has a nice spread, it does fill the background, as well as it does give that sort of diffuse cascade shadow. What I want to do though, is I want to actually change this up so that it actually fills more of his face. I'm gonna take a shot just so I can show everybody. Again, nice smile. So you see how we have split lighting? So we have really a lot of shadows on his eyes. So what I wanna do is I wanna turn this, take this light without making things fall on my head. Perfect, and I am going to get you, Zeftin, I need you to look here again, perfect, nice. We're getting there, we're getting there, I like it. I think I'm gonna bring down the light a little bit more because I want it to be even lower to his face, and I don't want it to be, you know, right now the light is really like kind of on top of his head. I want it to be a little bit more parallel. I'm gonna just change the angle on it, get it more to a, almost a 90 degree angle. So let's see how that looks here. I'm gonna move this over a bit because I want it more to be, to be covering most of his face. Look at me right here, buddy. Three and two and one. Yes, yep, we're getting there now. You're looking like a Gap commercial, buddy. What? Say what? So here's the other thing. Um, I like the shadows. I like how that, this looks. This is like a nice sort of one camera setup. I'm gonna actually move back a bit so we can get a little bit more of his face. So give me a nice pose. Cross your legs, or, or actually, could you, could you move? Yeah, cross your legs and then just kind of lean forward like this for me. Lean forward, no, lean forward towards me. Yeah, there you go. And now just put your hand on, hand on your chin just like that. Perfect. Relax your shoulders a bit. Look right here. Sit up a little bit straighter. There you go. There you go, nice. Beautiful. Now just kind of look away this way. Not too much. Per per Straighten up your head a bit. Straighten up your head a bit. <laughs> good. So we're looking pretty good here. I like what I like what I, I see here. But let's add a little bit of fill. So basically what a fill light is filling in the shadows that are created by the key light. It's filling the shadow area, the shadowy areas, right? And sometimes that can be caused by shadows created by the key light. Other times it can be um, shadows that are created by other uh, elements, tree branches, or other people standing uh, in front of the key light. Maybe you, as a you as a photographer, are, are in front of the key light and causing causing a certain bit of shadow. But it will help fill in and soften some of the darkness or the harshness of the shadows that are happening on the other side of the face or the other side of the subject that's not getting um, the full uh, brightness of the key light. So. 
Don't laugh at me. I went to, I made my own bounce. This is my little bounce here. Um, I made this actually from some foam core that I bought at Dollarama. And honestly, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a, a tutorial on it. It's really simple to make. It's super cheap, it's about $6 to make. And the reason why I like it is because I can fold it up for the most part, I can fold it up, right? Could travel with it, throw it in the back of my car. Uh, because I only paid $6 for it, it's not a lot to replace. And again, it does the job, it bounces the light. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put this right beside Zefton, right over here. So look at me here, perfect. Just lean forward a bit, not too much, lean forward. There we go, just like that, yeah, stay right there. There you go. Love it, stay right there. Beautiful. Why are you making your face like that? You okay? Okay, do that again. Just lean forward again. Beautiful. Sit up nice and straight. So if you're looking now at the shots, you can see that this bounce board is really making a difference from where things were before to now. There's a little bit more filling, filling in the subject. Can you look up at me? Look up at me, Zeftin. Perfect. No, you don't have to stand up. You can, you can sit down. Look right here. Now just look at me. Nice smiles. Perfect. Focus here. Perfect. Nice smile. Beautiful. You're looking great. So that's what I got right now. Um, I'm actually going to try one other thing. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so I had a little change of plans. I was going to do this sort of giant, massive seven foot umbrella and, and show you guys sort of this really soft, diffused lighting setup, which I love. But I decided to go with uh, this sort of strip uh, setup just to show you what it looks like. It's a gridded strip, um, which is pretty tall here. Um, I don't really know the dimensions. I forgot the dimensions. I'll put it in the description. But I want to give more of a moody sort of feel uh, just to see what I could create. And um, I'm going to show you what it looks like on screen right now. But I also want to show you where I had the light uh, in terms of where the actual person was, where my son was. So Zeftin, if you don't mind sitting down again. Perfect, you're seated. And as you can see, I have the light relatively close and it's off to the side. It's off to the side about 45 degrees or so. Um, and I want to actually show you a couple of shots that I did now. I went in really close. I opened up as wide as uh, f2.8 um, and I want to kind of show you a little bit of what I was going for with regards to that. Well that's the end of this video and another episode of Cinecut. Um, I hope that you learned something. I was just trying something on a, on a you know early or a, maybe a midday uh, Saturday um, and I just wanted to share this with you, share sort of my process and how I do experimenting. The big thing with with photography or videography or digital storytelling is that you just got to practice. You have to practice, practice, practice. We want to be in a position where we know everything about the tools that we're using so we're ready for the job. Like uh, DJ Cali says, you don't get ready, you stay ready. You is ready. And another one. Anyways, thank you so much to my beautiful wife and to my amazing, cute son, Zeftin. Thank you so much. Say bye to the people. Wave to the people right there. Peace. Peace out. Have a great day. Peace.